Hello everyone, in this video I will discuss another very important interview question in JavaScript. In this course snippet I have three console logs, one start, then timeout inside set timeout, promise inside promise. So now pause the video and guess the output. Let me run the code now. So the output is start, promise, timeout. So start is expected because it is part of the synchronous code, but why promise has come before timeout? The reason is promise is part of the micro task queue and set timeout is part of macro task or the callback queue. Now let's understand what is a micro task queue and what is a macro task or callback queue with an example. So this is an advanced diagram of how JavaScript works, basically how synchronous and asynchronous code is executed in JavaScript. So there are several videos out there which explain how JavaScript engine works and how event loop works. I'll not go into detail. I'll just give you a brief introduction and come to the topic of the code snippet, how that output came in our code, okay? Uh, so memory heap is the part of JavaScript engine which has all the functions and all the variables stored inside it. Call stack has the order of execution, okay? Or of execution of the code now these are the web apis which are getting executed and this 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 symbol is a representation of event loop okay so event loop what it does it picks up the code from the queues and put it into the call stack and how it picks up micro task queues is given priority over the task queue or the macro task queue or the callback task queue okay task queue macro task queue callback queue are the same thing okay so micro task so that is why i promise you remember the code snippet had promise printed right because promise is sent into micro task queue which is given higher priority by event loop okay and set timeout in this example has been sent to the task queue or the macro task queue and this has lesser priority than micro task queue that is why timeout was printed after promise okay so this priority is decided by event loop and it always gives a priority to micro task over macro task okay so these are some examples of web apis that goes into micro task or macro task queues you can pause the video and uh, note it down um, so this is all for this video and i'm just getting started there will be a lot of javascript interview questions that we will be covering so please uh, like the video if you like the video and please hit the subscribe button and share as much as possible please do comment in the video also um, uh, if you have any suggestions or any feedback thank you